I think anything you're interested in becomes enjoyable. And so when I did Strictly Come Dancing, I was very interested in it because I'd never ever danced. And I do like it when people come at me and offer me jobs that involve stuff I've never done. So uh, I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of laughs doing it. The team were fantastic. And I'm talking about uh, not just the celebrities, the professional dancers as well, all wonderfully supportive and friendly. And I was told to make it funny, so I made it funny, you know. Um, which I think came as a bit of a shock to one of the judges, uh, who's never been funny in his life. Anyway, but I had a good time. I really enjoyed doing Come Down With Me. I laughed the whole week. I was with a diverse bunch of people, and just amazingly, we all got on really well. And, uh, and it was just fun. Look, I love eating. Couldn't have done anything better. And they came to the vowel, vowel renewal. Yes, I'm renewing my A E I O U, <laughs> the vowel renewal, the vowels renewal. Uh, they came to that as well. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I had a, a really good time on Come Down With Me. I wouldn't consider doing I'm a Celebrity because I don't find it entertaining. I like to go in for stuff that, that I want to know about or I'm curious about. But as a classic example, I always quote this, for me, Joe Pasquale is a very funny guy. I love his act, you know, I've seen it live several times. Um, why would I want to see him buried with rats? You know, I actually think television should look at itself now and say, hey, Joe Pasquale is a funny act. Why don't we show his funny act, you know? And you don't have to put him on every week like they do with some comics and all that. And it was that constant uh, change in the, in the local theatres way back then that made big stars famous. Um, crikey, most viewers will never have heard of Max Miller, but he was a big, big star. But he only came around once a year. So everybody went to see him once a year. Same with Joe Pasquale, you should see him on TV now and again. Um, you don't get fed regularly, and I just can't do without my food. This That's... woman eats for England in the Olympics. Yeah. I don't think I'll be bothered by the bugs or bungee jumping or anything like that because I'll have a go at anything but I really can't go without food and I hate being hungry.